What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode. I got another crabbing video for you. Now the last time I checked I had about 40,000 subscribers and now I have 43,000. So welcome new members and thank you for joining. For those of you who are new, this is what I do most of the time. Um, catching Dungeness crabs on the Oregon coast. Before we get to it, let me show you how I set up these crab pots. These crab pots are the Promar TR530. You can get them on Amazon and I'll put a link below. These pots are very strong, they're very sturdy and they weigh about 15 pounds so they don't drift in a current much. They come with a built-in bait box so you don't have to buy a new one. One way to set up this pot is I like to tie the bait to the bottom of the pot so that way I can get a really strong scent trail. For bait you can use either chicken or fish. Now the rope I use here is a 5 16 inch lead core rope. It is 50 foot long and you always want to make sure you have a lead core rope so that way the rope will sink. The rope I use is a polyform boat bumper. Uh, it's very, very tough. It's puncture proof. It costs a little bit more than the normal buoy, but it's well worth the investment. To catch these crab, you don't have to be in deep water. Here we are crabbing in about 20 to about 30 foot of water. You can even catch crab in about 10 foot of water. The important thing is you want to make sure you're not crabbing in the middle of the channel so that way you can avoid the uh, boat traffic. For the place here in this video we were crabbing in Winchester Bay. Now you don't have to come to Winchester Bay. Dungeness crab are found pretty much in any bay on the Oregon coast. The important thing is you want to go catch them in the fall because that's the best time. It runs until about December and from about January on it slows down until around mid-August to September. Okay. 23 feet. Okay, so here is another underwater GoPro video of the crab trap. Now when I go crabbing, I usually like to attach a GoPro to my crab pot. Now this is just for me to see how the crabs come into the pot and how I can better set up my bait. Now this video was initially pretty dark. I had to brighten it up a little bit in my video software. It's dark because it was a cloudy day and it, we just had a really big rain so the water was a little murky. Now you can see one crab coming into our trap. Usually it takes about five minutes for the first crab to find our pot. Sometimes it only takes about 20-30 seconds. It just depends on the season. Now the best way that I find to catch a crab is just going on a boat. This way you reach a lot more places where people don't normally go. The number one question I get is how long do I let the crab pot sit down there? Now that ranges, ranges a lot. I leave it down there from one hour up to even three hours. Once I drop my traps, I usually go fishing and then I come back and check on it in about one to two hours. If you want to find out more information, please check out my blog, everylist.com. I'll put a link in the video description. Yeah. It's like no current at all. Yeah. Feels really light. Dang it. We'll see. Oh, we got some. Oh, yeah. All right. Good deal. Good deal. 
Oh yeah, awesome. There we go, guys. Today, you wanna move your seat. Today is not a bad day. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. Sweet. Check that out, those are pretty big. Yeah, they're really nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, so look at this one. Look at this big boy. Holy moly, that is definitely legal. Six and a quarter inch on the dot. That is a, ooh, that's a hard shell too. There you go. Ooh, another big one right here. Look at this dude. Look at this dude, he's a huge one. Big one, that's a male. Oh yeah. Yep, that's a hard shell. This one is, nope, this one's no good. This one's no good. This one's good. This one is good. Yeah, perfect. Male, hard shell, yep. That is another male, is that a keeper? Nope, so close. Anyway. Yeah. This one is maybe. This one is maybe. Nope. So close. <laughs> Next week. Yeah. <laughs> that one's in there. Uh, maybe. He's a maybe. He is a maybe. Oh my lord. <laughs> So close. All right, one more time, boys. Here we go. Now for the other one. I'm gonna mark this spot. Mark. See, the tide's going that way. Two, pot number two. What do we got? Feels a little bit heavier. Oh, that could be just a drag. Oh yeah, holy moly guys. Look at all those crabs. Wow. Those are nice. Right there. Probably about three. Maybe four, yeah. a little bit better. Good deal. Gonna have some crab today. <sighs> All right, he is legal. On the money. Four. This one might be five. Yep, five. Yeah. Yep. Six. Don't, don't, don't. I think it's too small. Yep. Yeah. Too small, I think. I have a couple more in here. 
Yep. Woo, seven. Seven, here's eight, here's number eight. Look at that. Number eight. Oh man, he they're fighting and they're breaking each other's claws. Holy moly. Calm down, boys. Too small. This guy is so close. No cigar. Yep. No. Not quite. So close. Bye bye. So we got nine. Let's yeah, let's rebait and get out there again. Especially now with the Yep. 917. There she goes. Dang. Okay, there's your crab. Look how big he is. Man. So we're gonna put this cracking crab here. We want to align that blade right along the, the belly here. Just gonna slam it down like that. Okay. Then you grab the claw and the legs, pull it out like that. Just shake it, okay, and pick it off. That's clean right there. Same thing with the other side. See, shake it, and you're done. That's Pretty an cool. awesome tool. Very quick, very easy way to clean crabs. All right, guys, and we're gonna save this in case the uh, fishing game wants to measure the shell.